Hello, Virgo. Virgo cross watchers. Everybody. First readings about relationships. Could be with people you already have, people you don't know, people that you haven't been in contact with for a while. If it makes sense, take it. If it doesn't, don't. I channel energy that needs to be channeled. I don't play games. Let's see what the first card says. Ooh, we got the chaser. And the grim reaper. Hmm. Situation. Mask. Underlying information for the chaser. We got paradise. Grim Reaper, we've got heart with a key. Anything else you want to tell me? Whoa. Okay. We got soulmates. We got wedding rings. We got boat. And we got love call. So. Seems like, okay, so one person, this seems like some type of relationship, okay? Like I said, I don't know. It could be sexual. It could be friendly. It could be family. We don't know, okay? I don't know, that's for sure. Um, but one character is the chaser. So one person is, they could have a fear of abandonment issues, okay? One person, um, we're going to call one person the chaser, and we're going to call one person the reaper, okay? So the chaser has abandonment issues. They've got some codependent issues, okay? They chase people around because they're not 100% confident that they're going to stick around or come to them. So they chase people, okay? That's what they do. Um, now, the other person, the Grim Reaper, okay, the Reaper, um, is somehow transforming their life, okay? Um, I don't think these two people know each other. Okay, these two people definitely don't know each other. Um, I feel like with the mask in the middle, I feel like there's something hiding. I'm not even really taking what the card says. And that's kind of where you have to take your intuition into account when you read cards, if this is a reader I'm talking about. Okay, just because it says something on the card, it doesn't mean what it is. Sometimes you just take the fucking picture, right, and go with it. Take the word, go with it. So I feel like these two people are masked to one, to one another. There's two masks, there's two people. So both people are wearing a mask. And I bet you it's, it's one person appears to be a chaser, but they're not really a chaser. They just get a bad rap. You know, one person, um, you would say with the Grim Reaper, you would say this Grim Reaper doesn't give anybody second chances. But they do. Just because it's a mask that they wear that says they don't give anybody second chances, it doesn't mean that they don't right they could just be hiding behind some type of facade that makes them look a certain way and when you hide behind a facade and then people take you as that image but don't want anything to do with you then it almost kind of protects you so it's like someone's been protected under no second chances because obviously nobody in this reaper's life was worth a second chance so when people said, well, they're never going to give you a second chance, they don't give you a second chance, then people just stayed away from them, assuming that the Reaper never gave them a second chance. Because does a Reaper give you a second chance? For the most part, no. But Reapers also come into your life, so then they can change things for you. Right? A Reaper is technically, I mean, they carry around a safe. This one doesn't have a safe with them, but it's all about the harvest. So if you're at, if, if this Reaper is at a point in its life, in his or her life, where they want to transition and change, then the facade of them never giving a second chance only holds true to the ones that don't know this person that's in their life, but they're not supposed to be in this person's life anymore. Okay. So, um, this Reaper is, this is, this is how, this is what is going to happen when these two people meet each other. Okay. 
um, the chaser is going to feel like they've suddenly hit paradise. And the reaper is finally going to go, okay, this is somebody I can trust. There is the tiniest bug on my phone. Hello. Oh, he went into my case. Okay. Okay. Oh, a bug just went into my case, into my phone case. Literally, it's like the size of probably a needle head. That's so weird. I don't even know what bug could be that big. Weird. Oh, yeah. And now I looked with the heart with the key. See that little slip that that key goes in? I swear. This is what that, that little bug on my phone just told me. Did he come back out? Oh my gosh, he did. He's out. He came back out again. He could be. It could be a spider. Anyways, uh, I feel like. I feel like this, this reaper's keyhole is that big, literally the size of a needle head. And this chaser has that small of a key. Isn't that weird? So getting into the other cards, we've got soulmates, wedding rings, bow and love call. So I do feel like these two people, okay, who've met each other are going to, maybe you've met each other, maybe you haven't. This is always two week predictions, okay? For the most part, it goes either two weeks behind or two weeks before. When it um, pertains to you, it will pertain to your timeline in that fashion, for the most part. I tend to not see into the future too far ahead. And I don't glimpse into the past, right? But some things that we do bring up in the past could have happened years and years and years ago, but they're just being brought up now. Little bugger, he can't, he can't get onto my phone. The, he's trying to get onto my phone, but he can't make the plunge between the phone and this little teeny tiny crack between the case. This bug is going to be on the screen in no time. You might even see it. I don't know. If it crosses the camera, you might. So... Okay, so like this is like a once in a lifetime find. I kind of feel like um, these people have they. This is a soul contract. You guys have made an agreement to meet each other and to come back together, even if you don't know each other right now. Okay, um, even if you don't know each other right now, there's the there's progression. Okay, and you're arriving with the boat. Okay, you're arriving to where you need to be, which means that this. These two people that are going to meet, okay, each other, it, it allows them to move forward. So if you felt stuck and you're like, okay, I want to move forward. I want to make the plunge. I want to get a house and settle down. I don't want to be a bachelor anymore. It's kind of like that's, that's what I feel like is happening now. It's like somebody that is going to be at home for you when you get off work, right? Nice little relationship. I can't get the bug. I've, I'm trying to get it off so it doesn't distract me anymore. It just keeps distracting me, but I think I might have pushed it off my phone case. Okay, then we got love call. Someone expressing love, a message of love, thinking about you, letting you know. And I feel like once, once this union comes together, okay, I do feel like um, somebody has to take the plunge. Somebody has to make the call. Somebody has to say, okay, let's do this again, right? And it happens. You might, it might be two, three, four days in between meeting each other for this person to call. But the only reason why they don't call right away, A, is because I get right away they're busy. And B, they don't like to rush anything. So they just want to let you know that they're still thinking about you. Okay. Um, yeah. So I almost feel like that's like, that could be like a hidden thing there. Like you meet somebody, everything goes really awesome that night. And then you don't hear from them for a few days. Where the universe is like, okay, well, please understand that not everybody has the regular nine to five. Okay. And please understand that not everybody has a phone that they stare at all the time. And a lot of people don't text message. Okay. They only call when the call needs to be made, right? They only call you up when they're ready to go on a date. They only call you up when they're ready to come pick you up. Right. There's no chatty Kathy with this person. I feel like it's like when they make the call, everything gets put together. Okay, next message, which is good. We're starting almost at 10 o'clock right on the dot. 
Um, I put two decks together and I have not shuffled them yet for this reading. So I put my deck together with the Witch's Oracle deck or the Witch's Tarot deck. And I can't shuffle them all together because my hands aren't big enough. Even though I have pretty big hands. Like, I gotta say, like my hands are pretty big. But that means I have a big heart. And I have a big brain. Hey, I cut a cauliflower in half yesterday. Because I was deep frying cauliflower. And the inside of a cauliflower, if you cut it straight in half, it looks just like a brain. I tried to show my sister. I was like, dude, look. It looks like a brain. She's like, it does. Like, it's amazing how you, if, if you cut, if you cut a vegetable, like it has to be from the top down, right? Like you have to cut it like that. You have to slice it. Not from the, the half in the middle. No, you have to slice it down the, like a tomato. Oh my God. A tomato. If you cut the inside of like a cherry tomato or a ripe vine tomato, it looks like a heart, like an actual pumping aotic heart. It's crazy. What vegetables try to tell us, eh? Okay, cut this deck one more time. It's because I can't really shuffle it that good. What's on the bottom? Ooh, I like this card. This is for our finances here. And I say our as a relative term, just to incorporate as many people as I can. Let's see, what's coming up financially? How do we gonna... Ooh, I like that card. Seems to give me three indicators, and then I'll break the deck two indicator yeah let's do this one on top Ooh, page of swords lovely where's my cards there they are huh i just put that back okay <sighs> wow another tower card tower came down yesterday and then i even accidentally dropped it on the ground and i was like whoa is the tower ever coming down Wow. Mm. Lots of feminine energy here. Whoa. Okay. I'd imagine that's what's taking down. Okay. So this kind of seems like... This, one's a, this is a testy reading. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so we got the clock with the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Okay, so it's like the time is up. Okay, yeah. I kind of feel like this Queen of Pentacles is evil as fuck. And the time is up. Her time is up. Okay, and that's why this Page of Swords is here because it's, it's, it's knowing that something is done even though nothing has been said about it, okay? Even though nothing's been said, you know that the time is up. So, um, yes, something about this Queen of Wands is uh, getting out of something, okay? So, um, the first few cards that were down, we got Soap Opera, okay? The biggest fucking joke in the world. And then we got the tower that came down beside it with, this caution card and witness okay and i feel like on the bottom of the deck we had scissors and fighting so it's like something something has been fighting okay i almost feel like it's this queen of pentacles has been fighting um most likely to keep her position and but she's acting she's acting the role she's not actually the one in the role she's pretending okay and now that i've got we've got the scales of justice here and i do feel like this probably happened come ver, uh libra season okay this 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 empress here took took her throne over 
in Libra season. And um, I think Libra season was when it was supposed to be over. And there's a third party to this, okay? There's somebody watching this Queen of Pentacles and watching what she do, watching what she's doing and she is going to be asked to leave and i don't think it's you i think this is some type of energy attached around you somebody's in a position in this queen position in a hierarchy position and they're not supposed to be they've lied their way to the throne okay and this person has been warned not to do this They've been warned. Um, how? Okay, let's see. How have this? How has this person been warned? Ooh. Okay. So, there's another queen there. So I, I feel like what this woman, it's it's a it's a feminine energy, and I feel like she has convinced herself that she's telling the truth. And she's sad. She's sad and she has her walls up. And she's very guarded. And I just lost that exit card. Where did it go? Oh, it fell somewhere. Um, I feel like she's put these walls up. And she's she is telling herself. Like, there is a part of her that knows the truth that that tells her the truth but she doesn't listen because she's too defensive she's put this wall up and because she's put the wall up she's not listening to the information come through properly it's all getting distorted and she's she's waiting for something and she's fucked up okay she's she fucked up and and she thought that by being upset and by fighting people and by warning them to stay away from her she thought they were just going to leave her alone. Like, oh, she's too angry. She's too this. We can't deal with her. We'll just let her have her power struggle and her, her, her fucking, what do you call that? A power, power, a power. It's not a power struggle. We'll let her have her hour of power. Okay. And we'll just leave her be. It's like nobody wants to deal with this woman. Right. And, and this page is the information that needs to be told so then it gets said that she's a liar and that she did not tell the truth to get the throne. Ten of Cups, Seven of Swords... Knight of Pentacles, Chariot. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I do feel like um, this picture perfect life that you always saw in a distance has been hidden from you. Okay. It's been hidden from you. And uh, this thief now, okay, has to give it back. So we've got this Knight of Pentacles, okay, with the chariot. So which means that the Knight of Pentacles now gets brought forward. So this, this money-hungry Queen of Pentacles, okay, now has to let this Knight of Pentacles do his job. It's, it's almost like the Queen owns all the land. This Queen owns all the land and she's not letting anybody plant anything on it. And nobody will say anything. Because she's just taken over her power and she says that no one's allowed to use anything for farming, growing, nothing. And then this page has to step in and go, that's not how this is done. Okay. We all know the answer and the answer is to allow your people to plant. If they can't plant and grow around you, then you're not an active queen because you're not allowing your people to thrive. You want your people to die. Okay. Okay. So look at this. We got murder to the Queen of Cups, but the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, and I feel like it's this queen. She's now come up, oh my God, in all form. We've got the King of, the, the Queen of, of 
look at she's she's everywhere she's come up in every energy all four queens are here that's how i know she's faking because you can't come up in all four energies that's fucked you're not god okay you're not allowed to come up in all four energies which is why we've got murder this this has to end something has to kill it her reign of power is done which is why the first card down was clock time's up okay she doesn't need any more time for this even though she wants it she wants it because she keeps thinking that she's going to change something but this tower disagrees this tower is coming in because all this fighting and all this shit that's going on is all because this woman thinks she's a really good actress okay she acts which is why she's come up in all four energies because she's an actress she knows how to dive into her feminine energy she knows how to dive into her fire she knows how to get pissed off really easily she knows how to all of a sudden swipe at you with the truth she knows how to use your emotions and she knows how to fucking manipulate money so this bitch has to get taken down because she's manipulating everything around her by lying which is why we've got the scissors card okay the world has to cut her out they have to snip it Okay, and, 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 and this life of hers, okay, she has to leave, which is why I lost the, the exit card, because she doesn't, she doesn't want to go. I, I don't even know where it is. I, she doesn't want to go anywhere. She wants to keep, she wants to keep her power. So she's going to try to eliminate the exit. But the thing is, is that I don't need a card for her to hit the road because this is now the energy. She was warned to stop and she didn't. And then she stole things in order to keep her life in balance, not the lives of the people around her that she said she was supporting. So this reading's done. Thank you for watching, Virgo. I hope it makes sense, and see you later.